Hello guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to build this medieval siege tower. It's a siege weapon they used, it had a ram and all that kind of handy stuff. So well, without further ado, let's go into the tutorial. So what you want to start with is to take your logs and go up one block above the ground and create a sideway log. Do the same here and then you... Then you go four blocks to this side and you're gonna create two on this side. Over here you're just gonna create one other sideway log. Now we're going to leave five blocks free and do the same and then two more open blocks. So you'll get this shape. Then inside, whoa, okay, well, yay. And uh, inside we're going to create five blocks free on all of these blocks to create the basic frame. As you can see we have this frame now and we are just going to create the same kind of um, crossing bar crossing bars over here. Like this. And once you've achieved that you can create buttons on all of these sticking out logs. Uh, the stone buttons like that and we are going to create wooden buttons on this side like that so what we're going to do now we're going to make the wheels the wheels aren't that complicated we are just going to create um, by the way this is going to be the back side this is going to be the front side we're going to start at the front side and we're going to place signs in here and three signs here and two signs here, two over here as well. Two I said, not one. And now we're going to create three over here. And uh, you can create one here and one here. And do that on this side as well. Like that. Oh, never mind. You are going to create them also on this side. That's one. And on this side. So now we're going to make um, what are they called? Wheels. So uh, this is going to be the the front side. So we are going to make the wheels face um, this side, and we're going to create them like. Oh wait, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Wait. Yes, there we go. We are going to create them like this, so they point upwards to this side, and then underneath there we're going to create a normal uh, one and then we're going to create it like so so you will have this um, yeah this is basically as close as we can get to a wheel in Minecraft and then you're going to create that on all of these and remember you're gonna make them face upwards to the front side and so and once you have done that we are going to create fence uh, we're going to take item frames and put them all the way through these fences no, not there, here. Not on these ones, all, only between the wheels. So we're going to do that like this. Now once you've achieved that, you're going to create spruce wooden stairs. You're going to put them in there. And you want to make them face in a kind of, um, I don't know how to pronounce that or say that. You're all going to face them, make them face like this to the front side like that. So once you've achieved that, we're going to go up a little by uh, picking up our locks again. And since this is the front side, uh, I'm actually going to move to this side. It's a little easier for me. Okay, so now we're going to create locks. Two, three, four, five, uh, like this. So it sticks out five blocks. And you're going to do that on this side as well. And also on this side because it's a symmetrical building. So like that. And though wait, I had item uh, trapdoors need that. Yes, there we go. And uh, above this, uh, one block above the wheel, you're going to place um, item uh, <laughs> trapdoors, <laughs> and um, do them all the way around except for this side, and also one on these logs. Like that. I'm having a little lag. I'm sorry. Uh, 
don't know if it's uh, annoying or some, but we will just ignore it and um, then we're going to create locks over here. Make sideway locks here. And make two blocks up. Like that. And one block more here. I want to do the same thing on the other side. So, like this kind of. Yes. Dang, why does that happen always? <laughs> so, we all get this. Yes. And now for the back side, we are going to create three locks like this. And make them go up two. And again, two. And another two. And another two. So you will, uh, and you want to stop until you hit the same row as these locks. Like this. So, uh, Right now, we are going to make a sidewall lock on here. On top of these locks, and make them stick out one. And now here, we're going to make one lock facing towards you. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Well, except for the lock facing towards you, because uh, it's going to be a little different on this side. So do that on this side as well, as you can see. And now we're going to create two locks up here, another two over there, of course. And then we're going to create two here. No, three. I'm sorry. No, 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 two. Another two here, and then we're going to go up two. And you want to do that on this side as well. I think I'm going a little too fast, but uh, I don't know. I'm always fast with stuff, so we'll see how it turns out. So what you want to do is go up three blocks over here and then make this uh, cross shape with one block free in the middle. No, like that, yes. So you will have this um, shape. And once you've achieved that, I'm going to stand still for a little. You just have to change my picture. Where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. So once you've achieved that, you can create a sideway lock like this. And a sideway lock like this. You want to create locks up here as well. Make them go up until this height. We're going to create sideway lock on top of here as well. And two more locks up here. And do the same. I want to create locks between also. Just also sideway lock there. Lock face to R2, I mean. And do the same over here. So you will get this. No locks in here, no locks in there, because these sides are going to be open. So, for the last part, we're going to create three blocks on all of these. Except this one, there's go only going to be one. Like this. So you will get this kind of shape. As you can see. So what we're gonna do now is create item frames on all of these. Oh jeez, I'm having some weird frame drops, but uh, I don't care. Oh, uh, gonna create them on here as well, and then we're going to pick. I no wrong. Uh, stone buttons. I place them through there. Do that all the way around. And just also also in the, in the middle of there. And on here you also want to place stone buttons on all of these sticking out logs. Like that. And uh, yeah, and that's almost it. 
Um, but we're going to create some more signs up here. All the way around between these blocks. Like that. Also here. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Internet connection, yay. Uh, and then we are going to pick up some spruce wooden stairs and place them like this all the way around. Oh, wait, this glitched away for some reason. Do that all the way around. Except for this one. Because as I've said already, this one is different. So now we're going to pick fences and place them on top of these all the way around and once you've done that we're going to pick cobblestone walls and put them on all of these logs also the small one over here like that what we're going to take now is going to be jungle wooden stairs and slabs and we are going to create some uh, decoration between here you can do this by your own if you want to, but you can also follow me. Uh, it doesn't really matter, you can make your own design whenever you want to. It just depends on uh, how lazy you are in the most cases. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna create a pattern, because I like patterns. So you can pause the video to see how it looks, and you're gonna create, or you can just randomize it all. That's also an option you can have. I'm going to, going to make a pattern over here as well. Wow, we are... No, 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 I want to have it like this. So you can pause the video again if you want to. Now we're going to do the same over here. But then... This, uh, I don't know how to say that, it's gespiegeld. Mirrored, I guess it's called, but who cares anyways. So you're basically doing the same thing over here as well. And then on this side, we are just going to create a little um, smaller one. Like this. Also with a pattern, you can pause the video to see what you want to do. And now we're going to take the... What are here? Spruce wooden slabs and put them on top of this one. So that's just the only wooden slab you're gonna need. And now we're going to take uh, spruce wooden stairs. We're going to put them on top of all of these these logs going up here. Oh dang! It's weird lag. But yeah, um. So actually what we're going to do now is all these these two sides we're going to fill them in with randomized spruce wooden stairs and spruce wooden planks. It's all randomized so you can do whatever you want. There's no pattern you have to follow. I'll see you in a second. So as you can see once you've done that we are going to create a slab in here. And we go no sorry. <laughs> we're going to create a stair in here, another stair like this, and a slab up here where you can create. So you will have this kind of uh, I don't know, it's kind of uh, cross shaped window thing. You're going to do that on this side as well. And in this case I'm going to place a block. Because randomization rules. And now we're going to create a why am I saying creating all the time? I mean a pick fences. I place them underneath these sticking out logs. Shit, no, that was not what I want. Like that. Also underneath these. Not on this one. Like that. And also not on this one. So once you've achieved that, we are going to create I mean, I'll go into this area, where we are going to place a fence, I mean, uh, stairs like this. No, stairs like this. We're going to make ups and downs stairs, and a slab, okay, so it is arched way, kind of, uh, 
thing. So as you can see, this is uh, still too plain. As uh, yeah, okay, I've made a little mistake, but it's not uh, it's not bad. You can just move this one block to this side. It's um, one sign. It doesn't really matter. Like this. And what we're doing to do now is create slap, stare, slap, stare, slap, like this. I want to do that this side as well. Slap, stare, slap, stare, slap. And you're just going to fill in this all with slaps. So we're doing that. Yay. I'm loving it. So, and uh, once you've... Uh, done that you uh, basically just uh, yeah <laughs> you're here and now we're going to uh, pick some more of these um, lovely locks we all love so much there we go and then we are going to create a lock row over here yeah yeah and now we're go also gonna make uh, some sl slaps in here as you've probably guessed already you can create a, st a stair over there to cover up the lock facing towards you. Except for this side because there's going to be a staircase here. So you want to leave one row open. Like that. And here is it's, uh, the same concept. You want to leave one, one open as well. And just fill this all in. Like that, but it's uh, maybe you want to do this, but maybe you don't. Yeah, I just think it looks nice when you kind of um, recreate this cross in here. It also looks nice uh, from down here, and uh, you. Uh, I recommend placing a stair here. It just looks a little better. And you can do the same over here as well. Actually, uh, why did I not do this in the first place? It's, it looks really nice, so you should definitely do this and stuff. Like this, uh, yeah. So, and um, now we're going to create the what's it called? Shit, um, a doorway. This is kind of uh, what the siege weapons should do. It this doorway opens, so it it's it kind of bam, it goes into a city wall or a wall of a castle. And there's this ram going to be here, which basically can slam or open the door. And uh, there's also this uh, big door thing that can open and uh, let people go over the wall. So for that you want to take logs and place one row of logs like this and you want to create three blocks on top of that like that and there's gonna be upside down stairs like this normal stairs like this another row of upside down stairs like this and then upside down stairs like um, normal stairs like this then there's a row of no there's a row of normal stairs on top of here with slabs on top so this looks um, it sticks a little bit out so you can see that it, it, it's uh, supposed to open and um, we're going to create um, trapdoors on here I once again do not how know how this is called in English but in Dutch we call it scharnieren so if you're Dutch watching this video you're laughing your ass off right now probably and stuff so now we're going to take up um, wooden treasure plates and put them on top of these sticking out locks wow that was a leg, big black wave and stuff so we're doing that and once we've achieved that it looks a little bit better already uh, I've um, actually uh, seen on my design that um, there have to be th and these um, signs also here. So we're doing that. We're going to create fen- uh, Why am I called fences? What the fuck? No, I mean... <laughs> signs, yes, that's what we call it here. Signs. Yeah, okay. Anyways, um, so to now we're going to create the RAM. And for that we're going to take spruce wood. So we're going to hang it two blocks above the ground. And make it stick out one block. Like this. 
and we're going to do that uh, on this side and we're going to make it stick out until here so that's um, one block past this log over here and what we're about to do now is to take, pick up um, pressure plates and place them on top of here and we're going to pick up trapdoors and place them here make sure you don't step on the pressure plates because it will all fuck up and shit so now we're going to take signs again and we're going to place them between there so make it look reinforced not on this one once again so now we're going to take where are they here? iron bars and, and uh, cobblestone walls and we're going to place them like this so they're hanging on chains and stuff yeah uh, <laughs> okay so now for this um, door mechanism on the top we're going to pick up locks again where did my we on the button as well here this is, this is where the locks are yes that's where the locks are so what I did in my design I created a lock here with a button on it I don't know why that happens but that happened and now we're going to create spruce wooden now uh, well, now that I think about it don't use spruce use um, normal oak wood because it, otherwise it will blend too much with the rest of the building and it will, will, will look like um, it's not uh, it will look like, okay. uh, so um, yes so we will have this um, kind of cockwheel thing and uh, you're going to create the exact same up here as well so this sticks out like this and now I have a problem so you'll have to deal with that so I'm just gonna make it a block over there so that doesn't happen anymore and we're just going to do the exact same as we did down there like it's one button in there so you, now you will have this um, mechanism going on yeah um, actually uh, what you wanna do now is to pick up your spruce wood and um, and spruce wood stairs because uh, yeah I forgot something now it's not forgotten I haven't done it yet so we're going to create spruce wood stairs like this and place slabs inside because you also have to have this um, overhang and you're gonna uh, leave one block free in here so it's just, yeah it's, it's So we're going to create fences on top of my cockwheel and going through this one, delete that one I mean, and we're doing the same. And it's sort of, it's weird because in Minecraft it doesn't really allow you to make these kind of things so you have to improvise with that. So uh, we're going to make fence gates like this and fences and one fence on top. To make it look like it's hanging a little bit you can make it go over here. But that's what you want to do. I mean, uh, if you want to do that, you can do that. But if you don't, which you just don't. And we're going to make it go up here. And we're about to create more fences, fence gates. I mean, up here as well. So it basically, when you turn the one down here to one of the sides, this one will open or close and stuff yeah that makes total sense to everyone and um, we're also gonna take buttons I mean sorry stone buttons and uh, the item frames again and um, place them on the ram like this so you have once again this kind of uh, I don't know how to say it just it, it is like how it is 
And uh, yeah, you're almost done. Now we're just going to create the staircase, which goes up. Normally, staircases go up, so they go up and yeah, and stuff. So we're just going to create stairs and make them go up onto here. And now we're just going to create a block there. So we want to do the same up here. So one slab and stairs are going all the way down to here. And to make it look better, you can put under other stairs underneath here. Not underneath here, because there's going to be a window with a fence inside and also on this side. So. And we're just going to do the same thing on down here as well. No, no fence in there, just leave it plain. And well, that's about it. You can actually, yeah, if you want to, you can decorate it a little bit more. It's it's really plain now, but there's really, you just do whatever you want. I mean, uh, for example, in my design over here, we pl I placed a chest here and some kind of um, puppet here. And up here, there's nothing. And down here, I basically set up a fence here, and that's it. So what you can do is just place a fence here as I did there and um, what I did here was to to create a, f a, bl a bl yeah a, f a, f a chest and now that I realize I think yes yes I did trapdoors up here but that's really about it there's nothing more left to show you guys that's um, yeah I want to create cobblestone walls on here and also on the other side too over here actually but yeah and that's about it so hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys if it was be sure to rate comment and subscribe also subscribe to all the people in the description so much we'll see you next time and we'll see you guys next time bye bye yeah.